All right, hey guys. So today um, I'm going to be doing a guide on how to install Freelook. So if you don't know what Freelook is, it's this thing where if you go into third person, you can look at yourself from any angle. So this is useful if you're, if you're god bridging, bam, you can look around while you're still god bridging. Or if you're like running around, you want to look behind you, it's pretty useful. So this will be a guide on how to install that. And before we get into it, last time I made a video on Freelook, 90% of the people that watched it weren't subscribed. So if you wouldn't mind, just subscribe. It means a lot. All right, let's get into the video. So you don't actually need much to get Freelook. All you need is this, which is a IO bit unlocker, which will be used to moving the files. And then this file, which is the actual Freelook file that we'll be putting into the game's code. And uh, here, all you have to click is right here on this. And once you do that, it should install. For me, it gave me this pop-up. Don't click download. You will see a lot of places where it probably says download. Uh, and just these download websites ignore them all you need to do is click download right here and then free download right here Editor me here, but I realized there's one step. I forgot you have to press view and then right here hidden items Make sure that's checked Otherwise when you go into the program files, you won't be able to see this file windows app, which we'll get to right now So I know going into the code of a game seems very complicated, but it's really not so you're gonna want to open up iobit uh, and this is just once you download it, it should be pretty simple. Just follow the instructions and you'll get to this. And then you're going to want to press add. So you go to your C drive. And then you're going to want to go to program files. And then Windows apps. And then you're going to scroll down here. So this might take a bit to find, but it's Microsoft.Minecraft UWP. And all these are alphabetical, of course. So... There's going to be a lot that say Microsoft, look for that, and then uh, once it's swapped off of Microsoft, that's right onto uh, Minecraft. And then you're going to want to go in Minecraft, go into data, go into definitions, cameras, and then cameras again, and here are your third persons. So the only file you're going to need is third person, and this should just be third person. I already have free looking, so the file is a little bit different name for me. But this should just be third person. There's also third person front. Make sure you do not delete third person front. You're just going to click on third person. It should just be third person. And then press OK. And this kind of will pop up. And you can see it says unlock. You're going to want to go down here. Unlock and delete. And then it'll say it will delete the files slash folders permanently. Continue. Yes. You want to press OK there. And then after it does that, you're going to want to press exit. So that will close out IOBit and you have to reopen. Um, but that's all right. You're going to want to do the same thing again, add a file. So this will be a lot easier to find the path at first. All you're going to have to do is go into downloads and then find that third person file. It's alphabetical. So just scroll down and for me should be right about here. And I have a bunch cause I've done this before, but you shouldn't really have to deal with that. You should just have one third person file. You're going to want to press okay. And now you have this here. So go down to this menu again, press unlock and move. You press that and now you have to go down to that same, uh, the C drive and find that whole ordeal again. So I'm going to go through that again, but a little bit faster. C drive, program files, windows apps, and then you're going to want to find Minecraft again. Go into that, data, definitions, cameras, and then you want to click on this camera folders uh, and then press OK. And just like that, if you load into a world, you should be able to use free look. All you got to do is press third person. So now this does mean there is no third person. I cannot look at myself from the back. I have to um, use free look here. And uh, there will be in the description a folder that is um, the original third person file. So if you want to use that, you can go ahead and do that. It just might be a little bit extra work because you have to um, redo that entire setup. And also, huge props to Polar Flare for making this. I'll put his channel in the description. Uh, the free look file I used here was slightly different than his. His started off like this, but in free look instead of just third person. Uh, so I edited it a bit, and now you can uh, look at your yourself from the back. But huge credit to him. He made all the code. I didn't really do much there. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe. Um, a lot of people who watch this video, this kind of video, aren't subscribed, so it'd mean a lot. And um, yeah, leave a comment if you're confused on anything, and I'll try to help you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and bye. The missile knows where it is at all times. It knows this because it knows where it isn't. By subtracting where it is from where it isn't, or where it isn't from where it is.
It obtains a difference or deviation.